Hi, Mark Gordon on Thursday, February the 21st, 2013, with a stock report. This is the NASDAQ composite. We're down about 1.04% uh, today. Another distribution day. In other words, a uh, higher volume selling than the day before. Uh, we've had two of those distribution days in a row. Not a great sign. Uh, three in the last six or seven sessions here. And uh, so uh, multiple distribution days uh, or institutional selling is not a great sign for the markets. Uh, last couple sessions have been uh, pretty dramatic to the downside. We had uh, yesterday a, a fall here, which took us down to this red line, which is the 10-day moving average. Uh, kind of found support there and also coinciding with this lower channel line. In other words, I drew a line along the lows here. Well, today, um, markets woke up in a bad mood again, uh, had a little bit of a gap down, and then some follow-through selling, uh, taking all us all the way down to this gray area here, which is called a Bollinger Band. And a Bollinger Band is a mathematical algorithm designed to keep the prices within it. And uh, you can see we found support exactly at that and bounced up off of that. Next stop is going to be this blue line here, which is the 50-day moving average uh, coming in at 31.05. So breaking this uh, sort of uh, um, wedging uh, uptrend that we had that started at the beginning of the year, we had a big gap out on some on some good volume uh, right at the beginning of the year and have been grinding up uh, ever since. Uh, nice rally um, uh, in the NASDAQ, but now broken the back of this uptrend. Let's see where this takes us. So this puts us in a neutral zone, not really a downtrend yet. Let's see if we can get some support down here at this Bollinger Band or at the 50-day moving average. So I take a neutral position on the NASDAQ stock. And looking at a weekly chart of the NASDAQ, we can see this support here at the 10-week moving average, this blue line, which corresponds with the 50-day, of course. And uh, we can see this cup-shaped pattern here. Got to the top of the cup here and now putting in possibly a handle, which is actually a bullish sign. Um, uh, volume has not been out of control here. Um, uh, we have one more day uh, this week of uh, trading, and actually it's a shortened week, so uh, volume not going to uh, be uh, uh, alarming uh, and seeing support down here at this blue line. Watch this market closely. Let's see if this 10-week uh, moving average can hold. That'll be a bullish sign. And looking now at the larger cap stocks, this is the S&P 500, and uh, down uh, about six-tenths of a percent today. Uh, two uh, days of heavy selling here, uh, both uh, um, above average volume on a pickup in volume, in other words, distribution. Uh, three of those uh, in four sessions, uh, a sign that large in institutional investors are selling uh, their stock. Um, so uh, broke through this red line, the ten, um, I'm sorry, the 21-day moving average, and uh, on volume, not a great sign. Uh, uptrend uh, that was a tight uptrend since the beginning of the year has been broken, just like on the Nasdaq. Um, next stop will be this gray area here, the Bollinger Band, uh, coming in at about the 1491 level. And then if that fails, uh, support down here at the 50-day moving average, which is at 1473 and rising. So um, in uh, 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 the grand scheme of things, uh, we're looking possibly at a test of the lower channel line that I drew along the lows here. So let's see what happens on the S&Ps uh, um, stock market going through a bit of a correction uh, for the first time all year. Uh, and uh, we never know how deeply these will go. Uh, could be the start of a bear market or it could just be a normal correction. Uh, in the markets uh, as profit taking hits uh, after uh, several months of rallying. So a uh, neutral position, uh, let's, uh, let's wait and see and see if our support levels hold. If not, then uh, we'll have to reassess and see where this is going. So thanks for listening.